Okay, today we're going to learn about how to back up your files to OneDrive for free. So to start, you're going to download OneDrive, and you're going to do that by typing download OneDrive into whatever search engine you have. From there, you can just kind of choose uh, which one to download. It's probably going to auto-detect which computer you're on. In this case, I'm on Windows. <clears throat> I'll choose the one on the left here and install. But since we don't need to do that, I already have it installed. I'm going to go directly to OneDrive, and I'll do that by searching for OneDrive in which case I'll tell it to sign in, and here are my files. Now, I want these on my computer, and I want to be able to put files on my computer up here, so this way everything will be synchronized at all times. Anytime I work on something, the change will be reflected in the cloud, which is just another fancy name for somebody else should manage my files for me, in which case uh, I'm fine with that. So I'm going to go ahead and find the sync button here. And the easiest way to do that is just go to the straight to the program that's already installed in your computer. So I'm going to go down here and search for OneDrive. <coughs> and in your case, it's probably going to link be the <coughs> only thing up there. I have OneDrive for Business installed. So I'm going to sign in here. Ah, whoops. Okay, and it's going to tell me where it's going to put OneDrive. In this case, it's going to throw a favorite up in the top left of any uh, file browser that I use. The actual location is going to be under C, Users, J. Smith, which is my profile, and then OneDrive. So that's fine with me. I want it to sync everything. If I want to choose specific files and folders, I can tell it what I do and don't want to sync. That's okay. And I want it to cho I want to choose which files go up to the cloud. I don't want it to choose for me. And you have to be the admin on your PC for this to work. Okay, I just typed it in. I, sorry about the privacy there. And it looks like it's uh, it's starting. So we have some icons here. This means it's for, uh, trying to sync now. This means it's already synced. And if we want to start making changes, we can do that once everything here is green. So I'm going to give that a minute. Okay, it only took about 60 seconds or so, but it looks like we're good to go. So I've got this folder up here. I can start moving files over. I can start adding files. Let's go ahead and create a new Word document. We'll call this test 2015.02.13. I'm going to open it up and just add a couple of changes to it so that uh, it sees that there's something in it. Okay. And I'll close that out. So this says it's green. It's good to go. So I should be able to see this on the web. I'm going to go under Downloads. I'm sorry, Documents. And I've got test 2015-02-13, so it looks like we're good to go. So now I have somewhere to edit online. I don't have to use Word or have to use this specific computer to make changes to this document, but when I boot this computer back up, any changes I've made on the web will be downloaded to my computer. So this acts as two things. It acts as a backup, and second, it acts as a remote access portal to every one of your documents. So if you want to start moving things in here, you can do that. Uh, you can also relocate the location of OneDrive uh, or my documents and desktop folder into OneDrive. Now let's briefly go over how to do that. I'm going to navigate to my profile folder under C, Users, JSmith1, and OneDrive. So before I go in here, I just want to choose my desktop, go to Properties, go to Locate, and move it. I'm going to choose Inside OneDrive and call it Desktop and select folder, OK. It's going to prompt me, are you sure? And I'll say yes. Now this kind of goes blank, that's because now when Windows doesn't see this folder as being the t in the same place anymore. Anytime I add a file, it's going to show up inside OneDrive. So I've created a little simple text file. And I'll save that. And you can see I've got the icon here starting to sync. That's fine. It's going to take a moment. OK, it's good to go. <clears throat> Only took about 30 seconds or so, but it's much faster over time when it has a lot of files to handle. Actually, I don't need to go back there. So we're back into uh, Files, and we now have a new folder called Desktop. I've got two files in it, a shortcut and a text document. 
and this probably is going to display a little bit weird because it's just text. It doesn't actually need Word to open it, but there we go. Our text document's here. If we were to do Word, it would look just like the other one. And anything we save on our desktop is now going to be back up to OneDrive. You can do this with any folder, uh, but the advantage is, is pretty obvious. Uh, you get a lot of storage here. It looks like I got about 30 gigs, and this is probably going to go up over time. And I have a remote access portal. I can access these things anywhere. I can access my my documents, my pictures, any videos I have, and so on. This is a huge advantage. Uh, there are other services out there. OneDrive is definitely not the only one, but it is one of the most comprehensive that works with a very popular Office suite that everyone knows, Microsoft Office. As you guys may have noticed, when you're inside of a document in here, it gives you the option to edit in Word, and that means it'll actually open it up in Word, and all changes you make will be reflected on the web after you save them. You don't need to download and re-upload it. You can see they're uploading to OneDrive. So I can close that out, close this. If I refresh this page, you should see my change reflected in it. Yep, there we go. All right, hope everyone learned a little bit something useful today, and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.